Say you got clap, say you got clap. Come on now, come on now. Hey, say you got clap, say you got clap. Come on now, say come on now. Hey, got to celebrate life, and that's alright. So hard, they supporting the couples out of these moves. Let me hit schools, time for me to get up. Get bust, I ain't got time to be stuck. You've been escaping the budget, so many tickets up. It's been an honor years ago. And one thing I really like about you, I can tell you've been doing this for a long time. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was me and Jazz, uh, my wife Jasmine was there. Yeah. And you had seen us and we were talking. And I like how, I don't even know if you realized you mm-hmm. did it because it was so smooth. Yeah. But you put us and connected us with somebody, I can't remember the lady's name, that you knew could help us, mm-hmm. and you just kind of introduced us and walked away and let us handle it ourselves. Oh, that was see, real see, smooth. Oh, because this is how I operate, right? Right, go so, ahead. So, I'm the type that, if I see someone that's trying to break into the entertainment industry, mm-hmm. I'm there to look out. So, my job is, I test people to, to see, are you really in for it, or are you there just to become famous? Right. So, I'll invite you to an event and, and then I introduce you to people and then I walk away because um, my job is done. I introduce right. you to who you need to be introduced to. So it's your job to network and build that relationship. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Because then you have some people who's like, well, I don't want to uh, meet that person. Where's Oprah? Where's Oprah? You're going about it the wrong way. Really? Yeah. <laughs> So that's happened to you before. Yeah, it has. That's crazy. Yeah. Because I, I like that. I like that. This guy is cold. Yeah. He's smooth as hell. I like that. And I, I, I've mm-hmm. been one to act, well, tell you about uh-huh. how uh, I, I see how smooth that mm-hmm. was. And I got that from you then. Like, that's how he operates. He does that all the time. Yeah. So, like, how, how, like, would you say you looking out for people? How often has that really, like, have you, like, weeded people out like that? How often do you weed people out like that? I know how to read them now. Yeah. So, so before then, I did it and it, it it would look bad on my end because then you have the PR saying, well, you invited this person and they were just there on just to get drunk and, and then follow the act around, which is unprofessional. Right. So I know how to weed people out because we have to hang out first and, mm-hmm. and then basically you have to tell me what your end goal is and then I'll look out for you. But if you hit me and saying, oh, I'm an artist, can, oh, can you look out? Okay. Do you have an EP out? What are you doing? Because anyone can be an artist, but what are you doing to grow as a, grow as an artist? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So please do come correct. Yeah. If you step to my boy, please come <laughs> correct. He will weed you out. So yeah. so has it ever like really like just ended like badly like really blown up in your face? Like I shouldn't have like dealt yes, with them at when, all. When I first started my um, when I was with 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 my old um, company. TSL exclusive, mm-hmm. yeah, that didn't end too well. Cause how can I say this? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead. How think, can I go say ahead, this? Think about it. Um, basically, people were in my ear saying that we see that you're in it for the passion, but the other party isn't. So you need to make an executive decision as of right now, and several, not just my colleagues, but people behind the scenes. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then looking back. As I was looking at the videos, and I hate looking at those videos because I was drunk in all those videos. So <laughs> no, to, to, to be honest, be, yeah. Because I guess at that particular point, I was just there to attend parties, drink, and if the stars walk by, I interview them, and I look stupid on camera. Uh, yeah, okay. that's why I don't like to showcase the, those interviews. I'm like, okay. I look drunk, I right. look stupid on camera. Right. Yeah. Okay. So when I ventured off on my own, that's when I was like, okay, you are here to play. I mean, you are here to work, and then you play later. I mean, you let me learn. Yeah, you do. Okay. So, uh, and that's like when you first started doing interviews. Yeah. When did you realize, like, I look like a fucking jackass, like, okay. Oh, when we did the Rashida interview. Mm. And then my cousin is in the bedroom, and she was there. Oh, we looked, I looked stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after, after I watched that interview, because... Yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> I look, I look stupid. Cuz say he did. If y'all yeah. didn't get that on the yeah. mic, Cuz say yeah, he did. She so did. that was my, well, my fifth. Oh, I, I forgot which interview that was, but it was actually a sit down interview. Right. So then we had like the wine spread, the cheese spread, and so we pregame and as we're interviewing, we are drinking. So it was horrible. <laughs> 
Okay, and after that, like, you like, yeah, I was I like, no. Shit. And then um, Satosa, she had an she had an event with 130. I mean, with the cast of Love and Hip Hop. So then this was when I left TSL and did. And then I, I started JoelBazil.com. So okay. then I did my 101 with her. And then she was like, I like this one better. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I redeemed myself. Okay, yeah. that's good. Because that interview good. was, when I said it was horrible, yeah. it was horrible. So what, what drove you to like go out on your own? Was it the way that the, your relationship ended with your own No, company? that and... Or had, had you already had that in your mind? I guess what, um, what people saw in me. Because as they were watching all of our interviews, the questions that were being asked, um, people were saying, okay, you did your research. Mm -hmm. That other individual just asked the same question. What are you wearing? What's this? Yeah. A generic things. But it was like, you did your research. You can be a, a one-man team. And I was like, okay, I'll take a leap. And so I parted ways. And ever since I parted ways, for some reason, I didn't blackmail nobody. So right. I don't want anyone to think that. But all my connects, they all left with me. Okay. Yeah. So once once I parted ways, all, all of my connects they all left with me. Okay. So I'm still doing doing my interviews. The yeah. other part I can't say much. So outside looking in, it's like, did you black? I didn't black ball or blacklist nobody. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So at this point in life, like, do you ever like just feel like do you feel like you made it yet, oh, or like nah. what, what do you feel? What do you feel about? Because some people will like a lot of people will look at what you have now. And the fact that you're you're always busy and can like do what you want when you mm -hmm. want, you have that freedom of a lifestyle and think like, oh man, he's made it. See, so somebody for you who actually lives that life, so, how do you feel about it? So the issue is outside looking in, everyone thinks that that certain individuals are successful and are um, made. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So my end goal is to move to LA and reach the white market. Right. Yeah. Crossover. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and your production company. Mm -hmm. um, are you, do you want to produce movies or like I music start, or like what kind of? So I want to start off with TV shows okay. and then merge to um, to um, movies. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so no music. But movies primarily, mm -hmm. not biopics. Um, Anything that's related to music. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So that's the music yeah. tie. Because music is my passion, so anything that's related to music, okay, I'll do it. Like a biopic, a documentary on an artist, anything related to music. Okay, kind of like yeah. a like a uh, like an unsung type of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Old and new artists. Because I grew up with with behind the music. Right. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. so I miss those shows because that one hour it gave you a full breakdown of it that did. artist, like and it show you the good and bad because everything is not glitz and glam. Right. Yeah. Right. And the bad at times is what makes people stronger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you have to go through obstacles in life in, in order to succeed. Right. Yeah. That's alright. So you got clout?